Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're talking about behavior management and I have three tips that are gonna help you out this year. And stay tuned for a bonus tip from an extra special teacher. Classroom Dojo is a game changer. It helps you keep on contact with the parent at all times. They get to see every point that the kid makes and every point that's taken away. It's also a huge help if you have parents who don't speak English because Google Translate, copy, paste, done. If you haven't heard of Classroom Dojo, it's an app. Each kid is designated a little monster and that monster can gain or lose points depending on their behavior throughout the day. I also like the toolkit at the bottom. You can see a group maker. I can select three people and now my groups are made. They have ideas for think, pair, share. I can play music or a timer. I also really like their growth mindset videos. So that is Classroom Dojo. You can choose to make a reward system for how many points each kid gets, but I also had class ranks as well. So when the whole class got to 50, we'd have a Friday fun day with dominoes and games and go noodle. And then once the whole class got to 100, we'd have a popsicle party. So that was really motivating for the kids individually, but also as a whole class. And they would really motivate each other to do well too. So that's Classroom Dojo. I also like to hang an anchor chart for things we may no longer say. This really helps with the questions like, can I go to the bathroom? Do we have homework? When's lunch? Did we already eat lunch? Where do I turn in my papers? I could go on and on. But once I put it on that chart, we discuss it, we get to say it one last time really loud all together, then we take it, throw it out, and it's not to be said again. Because most of these questions either have like a symbol or they can ask their partner. You should just know because we do this every day. I found this to be a big help, especially towards the end of the year. So that's my anchor chart for things you may no longer say. I think you're ready for your bonus tip. So today I've collaborated with Extra Special Education. Her videos and tips are more in special education, but they are so beneficial for gen ed teachers. So here's your bonus tip. Hi everybody, my name is Melissa and I wanted to share with you a special education classroom management tip that I use in my classroom, but it could be very easily transferred into a general education class. So what I like to do is explain the rules and expectations before I begin my group and I tell the students that if they receive three sticky notes on their desk, they need to change their choice. So the students know that once these sticky notes are on their desk, they are making the wrong choice. If they keep making the wrong choice, I will take away the sticky note. And if they get to zero, I usually don't have to get to zero if I use the sticky notes, but if they get to zero sticky notes, they receive a consequence. Sometimes it is either a phone call home, a note to their teacher, and, or they get sent back to class and they do not like that. So I really think it's great because I don't have to reprimand the student in front of everybody and it's very easy for the student to see how many chances they have left. So I hope you guys find that tip helpful and keep watching Taylor's for more helpful tips. Bye guys. When she told me that idea, I loved it because it was a different take on that kind of sticker chart strategy. So I'm definitely gonna give that a try with maybe some of my more stubborn students. All right, so my last tip, number three. Really just hammering down those routines and procedures. They shouldn't always have to work for a point or a gummy bear or something like that. They need an internal reward. I'll tell my kids, oh, that looks great. You know, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you for helping your partner and working well with your team. Awesome. Give yourselves a pat on the back because I want them to learn to be proud of themselves, to give themselves pat on the back, not always reach out for other people to tell them that they're doing great. Also, once the routines and procedures are in place and they know what they can get away with and what they can't get away with, you're not going to need that much of a reward system. So at the beginning of the year, I started off with Classroom Dojo, but once my routines and procedures are really in place, I don't need to be giving points out as much. It becomes more of a situational thing rather than just an all day, every day type thing. If we need help during workshop, that's when things start to get noisy or loud, I'll be sure to give out points during workshop. Or our lines, when we walk to lunch, that tends to be an issue. So I'll be giving points out whenever we line up or need to walk somewhere. But just every day throughout the year, you shouldn't need them as much. But they are good tips for the beginning of the year. And if you're just starting out, they will definitely help you. My three. All right, so those are my three behavior management tips. If you're looking for more, go check out Extra Special Education. I'll put her link up top where you can find my special bonus tip in her video. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and go check out Extra Special Education. Thanks for watching.